Okay. Met up with another moto vlogger named Two Wheel Lifestyle on YouTube. Dirt Dad on the uh, moto vlog forums. Oh shit, I need to get gas. So I better go grab. Let him know that I'm going to do that. I need to get gas. I need to fill up. Oh, without comms, it's a pain in the ass trying to let your riding buddies know what you're doing. Really need to get one of those Senna headsets. Okay, map switching, that's not the right map. That's what I want. Let's see if we can make a left-hand turn out of this. Wait. 
him catch up. So it uh, started sprinkling a little bit when we stopped at the bottom of Ortega. So we decided to stop and talk for a bit. Should have had my camera out because some squids were coming and going, pulling wheelies as they went. I didn't even think about it. And uh, a guy on a 300 Kawasaki stopped and just going nuts for the Diablo. I guess he'd been checking it out. just go to a Ducati dealership. Most of them are really cool and will let you check them out. They'll usually also let you test ride as long as you've got insurance and uh, a valid license, motorcycle endorsement. has a quarter mile long dirt track. I don't think we're going to be taking that today, but if I had to, I could ride it. From the looks on Google Maps, they seem like uh, somewhat twisty, wooded back roads. So it'd be nice to see something different. about the, uh, the nice on-off feature of this remote. I guess you can control up to like five different cameras. It'll probably make it a lot easier on him to uh, set up his cameras and then when he wants to start and stop recording, just hit the button on the remote. Although with the contours he's got, be better just to have one be a traffic cam like the rear mounted one he's got just leave it on the entire trip well the battery life wasn't too great on my contour plus you could record for maybe a couple hours in 1080p and the battery shot the sony seems to be quite a bit better you get at least an extra hour. Although when you connect the remote to it, it does not automatically shut off even if you turn the remote off. So you want to be careful about your battery life if you're using the remote. The remote, however, lasts, man, I, I have yet to get it down to one bar of battery life on a five hour ride. That trip that I made down to Palomar, remote was lit up the entire time, well pretty much the entire time, and it did not die out. So I've been pretty pleased. I did switch batteries when it was out in Palomar, just to be safe because I didn't want to have the battery die on the way home. It was a good thing I did because I ended up getting that lane splitting footage. Shaft. That lever has 
be flipped so it's pointing up instead of pointing down for GP shift. That's how you reverse the shift pattern. Well, when I switched it back, I didn't get the uh, angle just right. It's probably a couple teeth further down, further counterclockwise, no, further clockwise. So that ends up pulling the shifter lower. So I need to do it a little, maybe a couple teeth counterclockwise to raise it up. Yeah, it should take care of the height issue. I think I might take the car out to Palomar tomorrow. Do some photography. If they have the same kind of fog in the morning as last time, I should be able to get some really gorgeous shots. I'll probably need to get up around 5 and be down there by 6.30. Because that fog clears out pretty quick. It's like within a half hour or so, right around 7 o'clock. But once you go up the mountain, you uh, you end up above the fog, so you can get these cool, cool vista views of the mountains poking up through the fog. Bumpy, bumpy, bump. Stop. Too bad. I got, I, I got a bug. I can't see. Okay.